Hello, everyone. This is Ms. Rail, and I'm the director for the Fairfax County School of Practical Nursing, Nurse Aid Program, and Patient Care Technician Program. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about clinical so that you got the word straight from me, the horse's mouth. So if a question comes up in your class and your instructor doesn't know, and they say, well, let me call Ms. Rail, I'm Ms. Rail. I look like I have a halo, though, because my gray hair just doesn't like this light in here. But that's okay. I'm not an official movie star yet. So I want to talk to you today about what you need to do for, okay, share. So your instructor is going to give you a package code, okay? So don't use this code. This is one I got to just use for this. Oops. And I still type it wrong. All right, then I hit go. And this is for the practical nursing, which is, that's why it's a code you guys don't wanna use. This is to get my drug and alcohol test and also my background check. So what happens here is this package includes a criminal background check, nationwide healthcare fraud and abuse scan, drug test, national record indicator, Social Security alert, residency history. It costs $75, or sorry, $77.75. That is on you to pay for that. This is one of those things you pay for. Now, I always get the question about Social Security. Here's the thing with that. You can take our class without a Social Security card. You cannot get a job in healthcare without a social security number or a legal residency status. So you have two years after you take our class to test. So for some students, it they just decide, you know what, I'm gonna take the class, but I'm not gonna do the clinical and um, because I don't have a social security and I can't get a job anyway uh, doing healthcare. So to be a nurse or Anything like that, the Board of Nursing does require that you have legal residency status so that they can check your background. And that's a state law. That's not us. Okay. This, you guys may, hopefully you have heard of, Guidance Document 90-55 is from the Virginia State Board of Nursing. You can Google Guidance Document 90-55, State Board of Nursing, Virginia, and it will come up and tell you that we have to do this. It's a law. So then you're going to click the I have read, you're going to continue, and then it will ask you for your personal information, your name, your address, all of that kind of stuff, personal identifiers. Once you get all of that stuff in and click next, you're going to pay for it, click next, and then after you do that, this program gives you the choice where you want to go get your test and it gives you a lab form, okay? So you need to get that lab form and take it to the lab. Okay, if you have questions on this, uh, I will, your instructors can help you somewhat, and then there'll be a number where you can call Castle Branch to get help. But this is, you have to buy two things on Castle Branch. This one you pay for, okay? So now we did all of this, I have my form, I have to take it to the Castle Branch drug test place. You cannot get it from your doctor. If you get it from your doctor, I'm gonna make you get another one. And the reason is you are, it's chain of custody. If I'm doing a drug test, I have to make sure when I report it to the state, it was through my system, that it's not through a doctor giving it to me because those records could get changed. You know, Unfortunately, there are some bad people in the world who do bad things and they run it for the rest of us, okay? So then you're gonna go in and your instructor will give you a second number to go in. So, oops, I did that one wrong too. And you'll go in again. And this one, oops, now hold on, let me look because this one costs $43. You don't have to pay $43 because we're paying for it. So let me get a different code here where I can show you what it does. That one hasn't been switched over. Okay, and remember you're using the one that your instructor gives you because every class 
has a different one so that your instructor can see your specific results and so can I. So you put that in the place order. Okay, so it comes up like this and it says package uh, medical document manager. And then you're gonna have read it and you're gonna say, okay, and you're gonna continue. For that, it has that same information that the other form did, name, address, phone number, et cetera, et cetera. Once you get that part done, Uh, let me stop sharing here for a second. Oh, let's see. You can't have all of these things open at once, of course, because that's not how it works. Okay, so now I need to share with you again. And share. Okay. So now that I made sure I remembered my password, but you will sign in to Castle Branch from then on. So I'll just go to the sign in page. I will log into Castle Branch. And then uh, it gives me my Castle Branch. I hit go. You can see there's my name up there. I hit go. Okay, it gives you a video of how to upload your documents and then it will give you a to-do list. Probably because I haven't done anything, my documents. All right, so here I wanna put up my medical record. You upload the file and you can put it in here, okay? So you can take a picture, you can screenshot, I prefer if you scan things, it comes through a little bit clearer and you can do two pages at a time. And the scanner that I use on my phone, I'll have to show it to you. Um, uh, oh yeah. Okay, it's called Tiny Scanner in the App Store. So you go to your App Store, Tiny, scanner. I love this one. Okay, it's this blue one here. Let me see if I can get it to look. And then when I open the app, all I have to do is take a picture of it and it'll scan it up. Okay, and then you just upload that scan to your uh, email, put it on your computer, or you can upload straight from your phone to Castle Branch, however you want to do it. Okay. Now then I'm gonna go look at, let me log out of this one. I need to put a couple things in here to really be able to show you guys, but I can lo log in as um, the director and then I can show you what I wanna show you. Oops. Just thought it would be easier if I kind of show you around. Let me just get to where I want to be on this administrative thing. What's that date? That's right, November 1st. If you had, don't have it, everything done by then. So sorry, Charlie. I wish I could help you, but I can't. I just can't. All righty, let's see here. All right, here's somebody. She doesn't have it in all of her requirements. Let me see if I can get her name off of here. Okay, good. Now let me share the screen. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. So you will have a thing. Oh, she did put in all of her documents. And it will upload the document as a PDF. I can go look at it and it can be done. Let me see if she has something not in. Okay, so this one is incomplete. So to complete it, when you're looking at your castle branch, remember when we first looked at mine, there's this thing over here on this side with a plus sign, that's where you upload. Once you upload, it can, and when it says rejected, it will tell you why. The second page of the required form is missing. 
So that's the physical, you gotta have both pages. Uh, CPR, we haven't taught her that yet, so she doesn't have it, okay? So you kind of have to load things up and then you'll have a complete file. When everything's complete, we go in and look at it and everything's green, you're good to go to clinical, not before, okay? Once you're good to go to clinical and it's November 2nd or thereabouts, probably maybe even January, uh, we will have the clinical schedule where you make your choices and I will do another video about how you do that. Now, I just wanted to quickly introduce Miss Morgan because we're over at the Plum Center and Miss Morgan is my administrative assistant and either one of us can check Castle Branch, can help you with these things. Miss Morgan will be your clinical scheduler, okay? So that's it. You guys will have both of our cell numbers to get help. If you have a question at this point, your instructor should be able to answer it, but I just wanted to make sure that I had all the information. You were kind of hearing it from me. Ms. Morgan, did I forget anything you could think of right off? No, Ms. Rowe, that sounded great. Okay, good. I got the approval from her. So we're done and I will click this off. I hope to get around and meet you guys this